Well, I got to tell you, my initial response when you say wait and see, I have a visceral response to that. Um, <laughs> and, and so I think that it's important that I kind of acknowledge that wait and see, like those words have largely been used to um, stall, stall people, slow people down, or even um, what we kind of call as like give youth time to kind of figure out or be sure about their gender. I think the wait and see approach really is more about um, giving time for the parents to go through their process that they need to go through. I think that those things can happen concurrently. I think a young person can move forward in a way that is right and, and feels appropriate and congruent for them. And the parents can also uh, be having their experience and their feelings while also moving forward. We don't, we don't actually have to stop um, to, to, to have the exposure to know what we need to do that is the right thing. So as a non-medical provider, my conversation with youth and parents around blockers is a little bit different. Um, I can certainly provide some like basic information, like psychoeducation that I know. Um, but I think that um, I think that what Helen was sort of referring to is that young people do a lot of what we call coming in, a lot of that back channel, what's going on, answering these questions and exploring things. And, and that by the time they want to access care, the parents are just now in their coming in process of like, wait, what does this mean? What is that? What are the side effects? And young people already know those things. And so um, allowing medical providers, allowing you to access medical providers and parents to get the medical information. And as a mental health provider, my job is how do I create a container where the parents fear and uncertainty and love. I mean, fundamentally and foundationally, parents love their children. And, and sometimes what prevents parents from moving forward is um, love, right? And so if I can help acknowledge that and, and say, oh, yeah, this must be scary for you. And how do we do it anyway? How do we safely do this anyway, based on what we know to be true about blockers and their safety?